In this tutorial, we'll show you how to create section views of your model that can be interactively moved and rotated in real time, right inside your modeling window. This is real time booleans that are cutting your objects, not just a visualization of a section cut. Let's see how this works. First thing we'll do is select the pick tool and then we'll hold the shift key down and pick all the objects that we would like to create a section through. Then we'll select the section tool which is located in the modify suite of tools. Then we simply click on the face of any object and that becomes our section plane. If we want to interactively move that section we can grab the blue arrow and move it around. Uh, we can grab the green dot which actually rotates that section view through the objects and I can click the red dot which rotates it in the opposite axis. There's a few options within the section tool. If you look in the tool options palette, you can see that we can turn off the show originals and wireframe, which gives us just the 2D cross-section view. We can do 3D back, which gives us just the back half of the section. And we have a 3D front, which gives us just the front half of that section. Or we can keep the front and the back by choosing 3D both and, in a sense, section our objects into two pieces. When we click on another tool, or begin our next operation, then the sectioning operation is complete. So if I were to move these objects, you can see that with a 3D both option, we can keep both the top and half section views. You don't have to pre-pick the objects with the pick tool. We can simply select the section tool, click on the object, and then click on your section plane face. Let's use the section tool on multiple objects again without pre-picking them. Simply select the section tool, hold down the shift key and click all the objects. And when you're all done selecting the objects that you'd like to create a section through, click a blank area and we're ready to define our section plane. So I click the plane of this object as our section plane. You don't have to be too concerned about uh, the section plane that you click on because you have all the controls here to modify the position, location and rotation of where that cutting plane will take place. It should be noted that the section tool cuts through all object types. For example, in this cross section of a building, we have solid walls, uh, we have some surface objects, we have open wires. Just simply click on the section tool to find your cutting face, and as you drag it through, you see it cuts a section without a problem. The last thing we would like to show in this tutorial is a quick method of performing a section through a very large project with numerous objects. We do this by first selecting the pick tool and hitting Command A on Mac or Control A on Windows and this selects all the objects in the scene. Then we hold the shift key down and deselect any objects that we don't want to section. So for example I will deselect the object that is defining our section plane. Then I'll select the section tool and I'll click on the front face of the box as the section plane and the section is executed through all the objects that are pre-picked. This is real-time booleans that are cutting your objects, not just a visualization of a section cut. And this concludes the Bonsai 3D sectioning tutorial.